Hey folks, Chris, once again, I'm going to some video and the camera's kind of... There we go. Chris, once again, I'm going to video. This is another request to sign from Alex. And he wanted me to react to... Oh my god. Where did it go this time? Damn it. There it is. This one is called Top 10 Real Stories from the ER that made doctors quit their jobs. Okay, without further ado, let's check it out. Yay. Shout out to all the medical workers out there. The stuff they witness on a daily basis must be traumatizing. Yeah. Today, we're going to be looking at some of the most gruesome stories shared by ER workers. From body parts falling off to tragic accidents. Let's talk about this and more only in today's video. Top 10 terrifying stories from the ER. Starting off this countdown, we have the car accident. About a decade ago, this nurse used to work in a suburban hospital. One night, there was a multiple vehicle accident, and one of the accident victims arrived to the ER with his foot barely attached to his leg. It was just dangling from his oh. ankle. Apparently, when his car was struck, his foot was at a different angle from the rest of his body, so when it... You have to go into detail about it. Oh my God. ...received impact, it literally snapped right off. The oh, nurse oh was God. traumatized after walking by his bed and seeing one normal foot and then seeing the other just dangling there with his tendons and ligaments completely visible, dripping with blood. Oh, In our night spot, we have the haunted hospital. God. Of course, hospitals are haunted. Any place where lots of deaths occur are usually haunted. According to this next nurse, she arrived for her shift early at around 6.30 a.m. Around that time, things were pretty quiet around the hospital. So she gets into the empty elevator and heads on up to the ninth floor. But instead, it skips her floor and ends up going to the 11th floor. The doors open, no one was there, so she closed the doors and clicked the ninth floor button again. When she arrives, she gets off and sees an old woman standing directly behind her in the elevator. I would have had a heart attack. Clearly- As inspiration from the movie X? I don't know. This ghostly woman got on at the 11th floor and was hitching a ride down with the nurse. That's terrifying. That's certainly one way to get your heart pumping in the morning. In our eighth spot, we have Nearly Headless. This next nurse witnessed something that would scar anyone for life. Don't tell me someone lost her head, too. A woman was rushed into the ER after attempting to take her own life. She had slit her wrists and her throat. In fact, she had cut almost her entire hand off, and her head was being held on by the skin at the back of her neck and oh some muscle. God. Somehow, she managed to survive the trip to the hospital, but sadly, she didn't make it through surgery. On top of it all, the nurse was in charge of holding the woman's head in place while the doctors treated her. And after I would literally... I would vomit if I saw something like that anywhere, if it's not from Goosebumps. After her passing, the doctor had the nurse look down the woman's neck with the head held back as a little anatomy lesson, which is incredibly messed up. Someone died and he's like, hey, now's a great time to study the human body. Come on, take a look. No, just no. Moving That's on to the next up. we have the motorcycle accident. This story comes from Reddit user Doc in a Box. I would never, I never have and never will ride a motorcycle and this will probably change my mind even more. One night, a motorcycle driver was involved in an accident and suffered from third degree burns all over his body. Sadly, he was dead on arrival. So this dude's job was to transfer the man from the ambulance gurney to the ER bed. But upon doing so, the charred skin on his back separated and his body slipped to the floor. Oh they were God. left holding his skin while his body just lay there. In our sixth spot, we have the last moment. This next story is from Reddit user Sad Trombone, who is an ER nurse. One Hold on, guys. I gotta pick. I gotta post the pause button because there's a commercial break about to come up. So, BRB. We're back. God fucking damn it! I fucking lost it again. There it is. Fuck. On a woman whose heart had stopped during the middle of chest compressions, the woman's hand reached up and grabbed the nurse's wrist. But immediately after, her hand fell back to hanging off the table. Sadly, the nurse wasn't able to save the woman's life. But imagine how shocking it must have been to have a dead woman's arm shoot up at you and grab ya. We are now at our fifth and- I've seen tons of horror movies that fucking did that and it scared the crap out of me every time. Halfway mark with the Skeleton Man. 
So oh this next God. story comes from an ER doctor. One day there was a man waiting in the ER for treatment. To the eye, nothing looked off about him. That was until he removed the hat that he was wearing. Upon doing so, a chunk of skin about the size of a large male hand just flapped off of his skull. Apparently, the dude managed to scalp himself. But here's the thing, this happened three days ago, and he was only now getting treatment. Turns out, he was duct taping it down so that it would stay on, or he was wearing that hat so it would stay in place. Eventually and this guy was alive? Oh my god. When the hat trick wasn't working as well, his wife convinced him to come into the hospital. Uh, I can't. Like, isn't that painful? How do you wait three days before treatment? No. Coming Gross. in at number four, we have the makeshift bandage. So if you ever get injured, leave it to the professionals to help you, okay? Chances are you're only going to make things worse, like this next guy. So apparently this guy was out hiking when he fell on some rocks. The rocks ended up cutting a three-inch long, half-inch deep gash into his leg. When he arrived at the ER, he had a bandage on his leg. When it was peeled off, his wound was completely black with dark chunks of fungus falling out of the wound. Oh my god. I'm glad I'm not eating right now. Watching this fucking video. Should have got more fucking Dr. Pepper for this fucking video. Apparently, when he was hiking, the man decided to make a makeshift bandage by chewing up leaves and moss and then mixing it with mud from the river. And then he literally stuffed it into his leg to seal the wound. That's what I like to call an infection waiting to happen. In our third spot, we have the man in the room. Imagine looking after a patient who told you he was seeing ghosts in his room. This is exactly what happened to this next ER nurse. So the patient was admitted to a room in the ER at around 1.30 in the morning. But as soon as he was rolled into the room, he started freaking out, talking about him. He kept asking the nurses if they could see him. He was so freaked out, he demanded a new room. Once in the new room, he was fine and he fell asleep. The next morning, the nurse went to check in on the man, and that's when he said that the hospital room needs to be exercised. Apparently, the him he was talking about is a very angry dead man who didn't want anyone else in his room. I would refuse to ever go in that room if I was her. On top of that, the nurse claims that weird things would always happen in that room. Like it was always cold, no matter what, and the lights would always flicker on and off by themselves. Of course, she never thought much of it until this man came in and told her it was indeed haunted. In our second spot, we have the puncture wound. This next guy was admitted into the ER after a full-on fence entered his torso just below his ribs and exited his body above his opposite shoulder. That's a big yikes. Apparently, he got into a car accident and hit a fence which then went right through his car, and then right through him. The dude was fully conscious when he arrived to the ER, and apparently t Oh, surprised he didn't die from that. ...told the nurse, and I quote, I seem to have a splinter that I think you might need to remove. Honey, I think it's more than just a splinter. Thankfully, the man managed to survive getting the post and all the wood chips out of his body, but he did have to spend one month in the ICU. And in our number one spot today, we have the limp. This next man came into the ER claiming that his arm had been locked off during a farming accident. He had pointed to his left arm, but his left arm appeared to be intact. It wasn't unattached at all, but they did notice that the man was holding a blanket over his shoulder. When they took the blanket away from him, his whole left arm came with it. I would have fainted. That's a big no from me. Uh-uh. All right, guys, that's all for today's video. Let me know in the comments below. Have you ever been sent to the ER? If so, what's your story? What happened to you? I want to know. Hopefully you're okay. And now, speaking... Okay, there's, there's like two more minutes of the video, but it's just her shouting out comments and stuff, which I don't need to see because I didn't, I didn't I'm not included, obviously, so... But yeah, those are messed up. The one that really made me want to vomit was the one with the wound and the mud and the, the, the leaves and oh my god. Or the ones where the guy literally was literally facing his face. Well, other face, but the one where the guy had bandages all over his head and he had to hold his face on. I don't know, it was fucked up. Shit like this is why I never want to go to an ER. I'm... I have to go to the doctor, it's important, but shit like this, I dread. Every single time my mom comes in here and says, 
Hey Christopher, you have a doctor's appointment at two two o'clock or three o'clock. I'm like, here we go. Yeah. But yeah, like she said, hopefully, hopefully you're okay. But yeah. Um. So with that said, uh, what's your story? What 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 kind of ER, ER story do you have? Let me know in the comments. Thanks for watching, you guys. Take care, and we'll see you guys later. Bye-bye.